purging and how to use the chart on page H3. The chart on page H3 explains what you've got to do to purge certain systems. Now, first, uh, when first looking at it, it looks quite complicated and it's quite difficult to navigate around. It's not, it's very easy, and I'm going to show you exactly what it means in the next few slides. The chart itself is split into three vertical columns. The meter type, the cyclic volume, and pipe sizes. Now for the purpose of this exercise, or well, this lecture, we don't need to worry about cyclic volumes of meters. So now you've only got two columns that you've got to worry about, the type of meter and the pipe size. So the first bit of the pipe sizing says up to and including 28 millimeters. That means if there is no pipe work on the system that's bigger than 28 millimeters, then you use that column. And that column simply tells you to purge the system of 0 0.01 meters cubed of gas. And you do that by making the last two figures on the meter go round by 10. So, if there's no pipe work bigger than 28 millimeters, you simply make the last two figures go round by 10. However, if you've got pipe work that's bigger than 28 millimeters, up as far as 35 millimeters, then you've got to use the second column. And then you simply do what it says in the box. If it's an E6 meter, you use the figure 0036 meters cubed, and then you add the installation volume, which is all the gas in the pipes plus 10% for fittings, and you times that little number by 1.5. If it's a G4 or a U6 meter, <coughs> you use the number 0 0.01 meter cubed, and then you add the installation volume, which is all the pipes and all the gas in the pipe work plus 10% for fittings, and then you times that number by 1.5. And obviously for a G10 and a U16, you just follow the instructions there. So now, when you look at the chart, you should be able to differentiate between the two different columns that are actually important to you and remember if there's no pipe work bigger than 28 you just do a 0 0.01 purge for an e for e6 g4 and a u6 meter however for a g10 and a u16 which are huge meters you would still have to do a calculation <clears throat> if there's pipe work bigger than 28 millimeters, all the way up to 30, 35 mil, then you simply do what it tells you to do in the box.